डॉक्टर अर्शद महमूद है सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट द रिपोर्ट ऑफ कैरियो टाइपिंग इन विच कंडीशन दिस रिपोर्ट कम्स पॉजिटिव इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरप्रटेशन स्टेशन दैट कम कैन कम इन यूर टॉक स्टेशन एज वेल एज इन यूर एम सी क्यूज सो वी स्टार्ट फर्स्ट विद द एनालाइजिंग ए रिपोर्ट दैट इज फ्राम द ए क्यू यू ए वेरी नॉन लैब इन पाकिस्तान सो फर्स्ट the important things to be analyzed in this report is the uh, type of sampling so in this test the sample used was blood so for karyotyping you use a blood sample the first thing second is uh, that methodology the test methodology the whole test was performed so it says that uh, 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 that 72 hour ph this is basically all the methodology that we are going to read and interpret so it says that 72 hour ph ph stand, stands for the phytohemoglobin basically it is a chemical that stimulates the pro proliferation of cells so we want a large number of population of cells so we can study uh, our baker studies so it says that 72 hours ph stimulated blood samples of suspected fenkeni anemia patient so we use the sample of a patient then positive fenkeni anemia patient and non fenkeni anemia patient as positive and negative controls have been set up so we take three samples one is from the our patient and two other samples are one from the uh, a healthy person and other is from the diseased person so we use positive and negative controls so we can compare the sample with our uh, index suspected case or suspected patient so we use uh, next is okay, uh, has been set up using mitomycin c to rule out chromosomal breakage studies mitomycin c as you know it is an alkylating agent it basically Uh, increases the susceptibility susceptibility of the chromosomal breakage so if the chromosomes are susceptible uh, to breakage their breakage will be increased by using mitomycin so this is all about the methodology we just use blood sample we use sample of patient as well as negative and positive control that are the healthy person and disease person of fenkeni anemia because we are using this uh, sample for a suspected fenkeni patient and then we uh, stimulate the blood sample by using pha that increases the proliferation of cells and then we uh, 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 we we use the mitomycin c to increase the chromosome breakage so we can get the ideal result the second comes the uh, calculations that how the calculations were done in our index case so in calculation it says that uh, average number of breaks per cell is equal to the sum of total breaks per total number of cells analyzed so it says that how many breaks are in every cell so we analyze every cell of the sample and then we see that in every cell in every cell chromosomes had how many breakage so if uh, uh, next in report it says uh, there are three things first is the average number of breaks per cell in the test sample so in our test sample our test patient the average number of breaks per cell were 5.6 breaks per cell every uh, second it says that every number of breaks per cell in the positive control sample that were 15 per 15 so the patient in our patient it were 5.6 breaks per cell in every chromosome while in the uh, suspective uh, in the positive pair control that was a previously diagnosed case of fenkeni anemia the breakage is 15.5 breaks per cell and the average number of broke, uh, breaks in the uh, negative control that is normal healthy person is 0.3 breaks per cell so normal person has 0.3 breaks per cell our person has 5.6 breaks per cell and the fenkeni anemia diagnosed patient has 15.5 breaks per cell so next come it is the interpretation of the this report so it says that in interpretation if the breaks are less than 1 or 1 so the same patient is negative patient is not disease if the breaks are 1 to 5 breaks per cell it is weak positive and if it is more than 5 i mean 6 to 20 breaks per cell so it is strong as positive so in our index case as the breaks are uh 5.6 breaks per cell so it is more than 5 so patient is comes in the positive category next it inter, uh, next uh, it says that uh, you have to interpret the report uh, with a correlation of patient so no uh, uh this is basically the report that how we read the report now i will practically uh, show that how care typing actually looks uh in actually looks if you uh, see this picture it were it is very important picture because it shows that uh, how the actually break, broke chromosomes appears in first uh, picture you can see uh, there is single break in the chromosome here this again a break chromosome so one break per cell 
so it is a normal break if you have one break per cell if the patient is uh, blood is stimulated to pha and again mitomycin is used in the second uh, in the second uh, bar you can see that uh, there is again single break and it is a complete break the chromosome has uh, the piece of chromosome has been broken so again it is a single break it is not it is significant in the third basically there are two breaks in the chromosomes one and two breaks so it appears in the form of uh, there are three limbs of chromosome we call it as a triradial chromosome so triradial chromosome is seen here and it has two breaks per cell <coughs> in the next uh, bar you can see that another chromosome it this chromosome has four limbs one two three and four and actually it has three breaks so it is called as quad uh, quad radial uh, chromosome so it has three uh, breaks per cell and in the next bar, you can see that multiple breaks are seen. Though it has multiple limbs, so it is called as poly polyradial breaks. So these are basically the how chromosomal breaks appear on the, uh, on, the on the breakage studies. Because you can get can get a uh, a graph a graphical representation, and you can be asked later about the questions that uh, uh, how it how it appears on the uh, on actually on the graph. And you had to identify that uh, whether the chromosome has one breakage, two breakage, triradial chromosomes, quadradial chromosomes, or polyradial chromosomes, and then you will uh, be given questions that in which condition it can positive and uh, different questions. Scenario. But you have to identify the breakage. So now I will uh, show a few patient example. <coughs> in this uh, picture, you can see uh, this is basically a a karyotyping picture and uh, this um, blood sample is then exposed to PHA and uh, mitomycin C. So if you clearly uh, analyze this report, you can see multiple breakage chromosome. So we start from here, there is a break. So here there is a break again. This chromosome is break. There is a breakage here. These are single breaks. Again, this chromosome is uh, having multiple breaks. So it has multiple limbs. So it is polyradial chromosome. Uh, if you analyze this chromosome, so this chromosome has four limbs. So there are three breaks and it is, it is called as quad radial chromosome because there are four limbs of chromosome. If you analyze this chromosome, it has two breaks and it is called as uh, tri radial chromosome because there are two breaks. Again, this chromosome, you can see the break here. This chromosome has break here. There is break here in this chromosome. And uh, in this chromosome, again, this chromosome is quad radial chromosome, this one, and it has four limbs. So there are multiple breaks in the chromosome. This is again a positive sample. So in this way, you can identify the chromosomal breakage. You just have to identify, and then uh, the questions will be asked from you. Another very important uh, slide, uh, again, uh, showing this uh, breakage study. So in this, uh, this is the control sample. Where you can you can't see the breakage here because all the chromosomes all the chromosomes appear very fine there is no breakage in any chromosome so this is basically control sample fewer breaks are seen but these are not significant these appears all the chromosomes appear to be totally fine they are normal and there is no breakage study on the other hand if you see the uh, chromosome breakage study of the patient you can see the multiple breaks in the different chromosomes so the, the, if, if you see this chromosome these are multiple breaks are seen here if we zoom it uh here so it will be better to for you to see so in this uh you can uh, and clearly see that this chromosome has multiple breaks this chromosome has multiple breaks this chromosome has again multiple breaks this chromosome has multiple breaks so it is triadial chromosomes again this chromosome and there is a breakage here and there is breakage here so there is a, this chromosome is also breakage and there is breakage here so there are multiple uh, breakage are seen in the chromosome. So this is a positive test and positive sample. And uh, the, the study is positive in this index, in this patient. Again, in this patient, uh, if you see uh, the compare the patient versus control. So this is the, basically the control sample. This is the patient sample. These are the exposed to mitomycin C. Uh, in this, the mitomycin exposure is 100 nm, where here the mitomycin exposure is 1000 nm. So definitely it is higher exposure. So breakage is here more higher as compared to here because of the mitomycin exposure, because it increases the ex breakage in the susceptible patients. So if you analyze uh, the chromosomal breakage, no breakage is seen here. But there are a few breaks here, like this patient has triradial chromosome, again there is a breakage here and there is a breakage here. 
but again if the sample is uh, exposed to the higher quantity of uh, mmc that is mitomycin c fewer breaks are seen in the control sample like here one like this one uh, these are normal but in the uh, the in the test sample the, the, there are uh, there are multiple breaks there are multiple cells showing breakage so this sample is again positive for the chromosomal breakage study so it is important to identify the chromosomal breakage because uh, you will be asked about that so now if we analyze this patient this is basically the uh, the, the sample from the normal patient so uh, there, there are fewer breaks and no breaks in this part of uh, karyotyping and you if you analyze this portion then uh, the patient again has this sample has multiple breaks here uh, multiple breaks are seen here multiple breaks are seen here multiple breaks are seen here breaks are seen and uh, you can uh, see the chromosomal breakage here so these are the chromosomal breakage studies are here so basically chromosomal breakage study is done to see the fragility of a chromosome to breakage of a chromosome that is typically seen in three important diseases that should you should remember uh, for the exams one is the ataxia telangiectasia in you in which you get ataxia uh, and that is basically a dbt so you get ataxia you get telangiectasia and you get uh, the 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 uh, increased susceptibility to in the in different infection because of immune deficiency and increased susceptibility to getting the uh, the, the malignancies the second condition is fanconemia definitely in that patient has dysmorphism and there is a uh, congenital type of uh, pancytopenia aplastic anemia the third condition is bloom syndrome again it is a basically a, a type of uh, chrom uh, fragile chromosome syndrome which exposes the patient to the risk increased risk of different malignancies so these are different questions that can be asked one is, one is the pectoral representation that you have to identify the break you should know that which sample is done how many breaks in the cells uh, means positive what is triadial chromosome what is quadrilateral chromosome and you should know the examples that in which conditions these breakage studies can be positive so scenario can be of fanconemia of, of uh, taxitelangiectasia and of bloom syndrome thank you